Hey, what's up everybody? This is Kyle with Jazz and Human Performance, and today we're gonna to be talking about muscle contractions, specifically the difference between concentric, eccentric, and isometric muscle contractions. Uh, but before I get started with that, I wanna talk about why the word contraction might not actually be the best term to use. If you look up the dictionary definition of contraction, it says, the process of becoming smaller. Further, it says, the, per the process in which a muscle becomes or is made shorter and tighter. Now, while this is definitely true for a concentric contraction, uh, as we'll see, it's definitely not the case for eccentric or isometric contraction. So another term you might hear sometimes is muscle action or simply just muscle movement. But for this video, and since it's kind of the standard, I'm gonna call them contractions the whole time. But, uh, so let's go ahead and get started talking about what the three are. And the best way to do this is to just show you on a muscle itself. So I'm gonna show you with my biceps muscle, not because I'm trying to show off my arms, but that's just the easiest way to see the different contractions in action. So first is the concentric. So if I see here, this is what we're talking about, the muscle is shortening and getting tighter. So this motion here is concentric. The muscle is getting shorter. Now an eccentric is basically the opposite. The muscle is extending here and it's getting longer. But the important thing to note is that doesn't mean the muscle's not working. It's not like the working muscle here and then the muscle is just simply relaxing you can work the muscle through an eccentric motion. So for an example of that is a negative, which is an exercise where you are working the muscle eccentrically. And I'll get into those on another day. Uh, but one benefit of you doing eccentric exercises is you can actually generate more force eccentrically than you can concentrically. Uh, and the last one is an isometric contraction. So basically just not moving. So if my muscle is just staying still, or in this position, this would be an isometric contraction. And it's important to note that I can isometrically contract my muscle through the full range of motion. So whether I'm here, 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 and holding it, those are all gonna be examples of isometric contractions. So that's a quick uh, example of the three different muscle contraction types, um, concentric, eccentric, isometric. Uh, but if you like this video, if you learned something, go ahead and hit the like button and, and, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.